everybody it's Charmel. welcome back to my channel so today's wig is from wigsbuy.com they are an online wig store i am going to do a in-depth informational about the wig and the company at the end of this customization portion so let's just start off with how the wig comes out of the box this is the wig um out of the box the hair was a little too soft i say like kind of like baby doll hair but I'll let you guys know my opinion again at the end, but it is a lace front wig. So as you can see, there's lace in the front and then the back and middle portion is all wefted. Because this hair is blonde from root to tips, I'm going to start by just coloring my roots to deepen, darken them a little bit. So I'm going to be using a the Adore Black Velvet Rinse in the Brown Sienna. I didn't want to just do pure black because I didn't want it I didn't want it to be too harsh and then that brown color sometimes it can come out a little red so I mixed it together and I got like the perfect um, dark brown black kind of roots so now I'm just going into the part adding it on the part and along the hairline first and then I went in section by section of the lace and just bleached the roots um, on all the lace part So next we're going to move on to plucking the hairline. Honestly, this hairline was super thick and I kind of thought we were past that with wig companies with making the hairlines super thick, but yeah, it was very dense and I hate plucking hairlines, but yeah, you will definitely have to pluck this hairline if you would like a more natural look. Um, I didn't even pluck it as much as it needed to be because this wig needed a lot of plucking, but since I was going to really just wear it in the middle part, I didn't stress too much over plucking the hairline, but you definitely have to go in and do some plucking. So this is the wig after it's the roots have been dyed, um, it's been washed, conditioned, and flat ironed. As you can see, it has a lot of sheen, a lot of body, a lot of movement. So now I'm just going to go in and um, give this hair a little more shape. So I'm gonna do a blunt cut, a long blunt cut though. So just did the ponytail method where you cut it and then cut off the ponytail. And then I'm gonna go in and just clean up the cut a little more. So I wish I would have kept the wig this length, but I ended up getting a little scissor happy and the cut ended up being a lot shorter than what I wanted it to be originally. So here is the wig. I just have my hair in two braids to the back and with the wig cap on. And now I'm going to apply the wig. So I did not have to bleach the knots on this wig. The lace came in a brown color and then I also went ahead and just added some foundation on the lace now I'm just taking a little guys to be glued and I'm only applying it like on my forehead I did not apply it around my whole hairline I just mainly wanted this top portion where the part is at to be secured so I'm just applying that on and then I'm going to blow dry it on cool setting until it gets tacky and then I'm going to apply the lace wig
Now I'm just gonna do a quick run through with the flat iron because how I had this wig stored, it did kind of um, get all bent. So now I'm just running my flat iron through it and just straighten it out. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the installation portion. Um, I'm loving the way this cut came out, even though it's a lot shorter. Um, it's still a nice cut. The color is beautiful. I don't normally go for colors like this. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna finish flat ironing this hair and then stay tuned for my thoughts on the wig and the wig company. Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another Wig Wednesday video. So if you'd like to see more, please stay tuned. Today's Wig Wednesday video is in collaboration with Wigsby.com. They are an online wig company. They specialize in various type of wigs. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of their lace front wigs. So let me give you all the details. So this is a Sierra inspired hairstyle. It is a blunt medium straight center part human hair lace front wig it was originally 16 inches but i did chop it it's straight it's a lace front cap um so by lace front what they mean is that it's only like this amount of actual lace um and it does go from ear to ear and then the back of the head is wefted the hair did pretty much come colored like this i had to go in and color my roots a little bit because it was um, just blonde from root to tip and it just didn't look natural in my opinion. As far as the texture goes, when I first took this wig out of the box, it did feel super soft, almost too soft, kind of like baby doll hair. But after washing it, um, you know, it's a nice soft texture now. Considering how blonde this hair is, it is definitely soft so what I will say is that while the quality of the hair is pretty nice so far um, I kind of feel like it's a little pointless um, how they advertise the wigs honestly you can choose any wig and choose any type of customizations for it I will insert the picture of the wig that I thought I was getting um, so as you guys can see that the wig, um, it's mainly dark with very heavy highlights around the front and kind of on the ends. Um, so I did choose the color because you can, you have an option of choosing different colors. So when I told them with which wig I wanted, I did choose the color HH number 8 in 613, which is like this blonde mix. But I thought that I was going to like... The highlights were going to be that color, not the entire wig. So that was a little disappointing. A bunch of colors you can choose from, which is good, but I feel like if they're going to advertise the wig, they're going to advertise it as like the Sierra inspired wig. I feel like it should be colored looking like that wig, if that makes sense. Because essentially you can purchase any wig on the website and just make it any color you want. So I was a little disappointed with that. Um, also, the wig was definitely 16 inches, but it wasn't in a blunt cut. I had to go ahead and kind of give it a blunt cut my own so. So I feel like that was pointless as well because, again, I feel like they could have put any picture of any wig on there and just allow you to choose the customizations. So while the quality of the wig, I do like it so far, I just feel like the pictures that they use are a little misleading because you will not get a wig that looks like that. They basically have a standard wig. You choose what you want the wig to look like and then that's what they send you. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. As always, I will have all the information on this hair company, Wig Spy. I will also have all the details on this specific wig and the link to the wig that I am reviewing. And thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time.